In 1930, on 31st January, Gandhi sent a letter to Viceroy Irwin with 11 demands. What was in this letter? There were demands that would be of interest for every group, right from the farmers to the industrialists. And why was this done? To get everybody together, to get different groups together, to fight together for a united India. And there was one common point which was abolishing the salt law. At that time, only the government was allowed to make salt. So this was a demand made by Gandhi to the British that this law should be abolished and anybody should be allowed to make salt. Salt was one thing that was used by everybody. So this was one demand that would affect each and every group in India. And he also gave a deadline in that letter, which was 11th March 1930. If Viceroy Irwin did not follow the demands that were mentioned in the letter, Gandhi wrote that he would start protests. So 11th March came and went and there was no response from Irwin. So Gandhi started walking. He started from Sabarmati Ashram to Dandi, which is a seaside town in Gujarat. How far away were these towns? They were 240 miles apart and Gandhi and his team took 24 days to reach Dandi. On the way, they were stopping to meet people and tell them what was going on. And on 6th April, when Gandhi reached Dandi, he took some water from the sea and boiled it and got salt. And that was how Gandhi broke the salt law. And then the civil disobedience movement started. Now, how was civil disobedience different from non-cooperation? Basically, in this movement, the people were asked to break laws in a non-violent way. And that is why it was called disobedience. In non-cooperation, they were asked to just not cooperate with the government. This took it one step further ahead. And it started on 6th of April, 1930. What did the people do? At different places all over India, people started breaking the salt law. Tribals were not allowed to go into the reserve forests, remember? So tribals started going into the reserve forests and doing whatever they wanted to do. Liquor shops were picketed, foreign goods were banned. And of course the government reacted to it. They started arresting people, they started arresting top leaders like Abdul Ghaffar Khan, Gandhi etc. They also started beating people up and this time they were beating even the women and the children. Finally, Gandhi called it off on 5th March 1931 after he signed a pact with Irvine. What was this pact? It was signed in order to stop the civil disobedience movement. The British and the Indians came to certain terms. Indians were represented by Gandhi and the British were represented by Irvine. So India agreed to attend the second roundtable conference in December 1931. And the British, in turn, would release the political prisoners. Political prisoners means these were not people who had committed criminal problems. These were people who had performed demonstrations or agitations against the British. Now, what happened at the Roundtable Conference? There was nothing good for India at all. Gandhi was there in London to attend it. And when he came back, he saw that the British were harassing Indians even more. They were again arresting leaders. He then tried to restart the civil disobedience movement, but by then it had lost all its momentum. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.